Hello everybody. In this video, I would like to demonstrate how to use pointers to implement pass by reference in C language. To start with, here is a program where I have two integer variables in main, one with value 10, the other one 20. And if you look at the memory image, so here is uh, the memory image. And when we talk about the first variable A, let us assume this is A. So here we are talking about the first one, which is A. And this is B. And the value of A is a 10. The value of B is 20. Now I call a function called swap and I'm passing a and b as parameters to function swap now function swap is going to create two formal parameters this is x this is y and this is called pass by value so a is passed to x it means the value of a is copied to x so this is how you get a copied to x and the value of b is copied to y so we get 20 here now the point to be noted is x and y occupy different memory locations from a and b and when you enter into function swap x and y are allocated memory and it will be like this x and y are separately stored from a and b and values from a and b are copied to x y inside the function we create one more variable that is t and we are copying the value x into that so x is now copied into t so 10 and then we are doing the interchange here the value of y is copied to x so it becomes 20 and y is then copied i mean x is getting the value of y and then t is copied to y so y becomes 10 so by the end of uh, these three statements x is 20 y is 10 but once you leave this function as you go back to the main after the end of this swap as you go back to this print the sprint of statement as you can see the values of uh, a and b will remain exactly the same so there is no effect on a and b even though we changed x and y because a and b were never accessed from function we were working with the two different copies x and y this is called pass by value so if you run this program you are not going to see any change in a and b and the output of this program will be 10 and 20 so let's run the program and as you can see the output is 1020 now how do we use pointers to simulate pass by reference so here is my modified version so this is the new version of swap where i'm going to pass not a and b but the address of a and address of b but as we pass addresses we have to receive those addresses into pointers so here is a pointer to receive the address of uh, a and here is the pointer to receive the address of b and this is going to change our uh, scenario here we are going to have a different uh, process so here a b still remain 1020 but this is no longer x we call it as something like uh, p1 so we call it as p1 so here this is p1 and this is p2 and what we have there now what we have here is not the value so let us erase those things and p1 is this time getting the address of a so let's work with some imaginary addresses like 100 and this is 104 
I assume integer occupies uh, four bytes, so it should be something like uh, 100 to 103, and this is 104 to 107. Now, the address of A means the starting address of A that is 100 copied to P1. The starting address of B that is 104 is copied to P2 because we are passing addresses and we are receiving them into pointers. And now the code here is saying take the value that is present at the location pointed by P1. So it means first go to P1, take the address, go to the location where the address is present uh, for which the 100 is the address and then we want to take the value from that location. So 10 is taken whenever I say star P1. And similarly, this statement is saying take the value from address pointed by P2 and copy the value to address pointed by P1. So we are going to take the value that is available at address 100 and we are going to replace that with the value that is present at address 104. Remember we are taking the value that is present at 104 and we are copying that into the address 100. So this expression is going to change the value of A to 20 and the second expression star P2 is equal to T is copying T which is 10 here. Well remember T remains the same there is no change in that this T is still a simple integer variable and it is getting the value pointed by P1 that is 10 and now the location pointed by P1. Remember P1 is pointing to this, P2 is pointing to this. So whatever value that is present at that location is replaced by 20 and 20 is uh, the value we get at the address pointed by P2. And now the value that is present in T is copied to star P2 that is here. So we are going to change this to 10. So at the end of it we are changing the values of A and B by using pointers P1, P2 because P1, P2 are pointing to A and B and through these pointers we are able to access the actual locations as you can see here. Now if you run this uh, modified version, then you should be seeing 20 and 10. This is what we call as pass by reference because we pass not the values but the reference and also known as pass by address because we are passing the address not the value. And pointer is a must if you are using pass by reference because without pointer we can't get address or reference of a variable. So this is one of the reasons why you must understand how to use pointer in C because without that pass by reference cannot be implemented. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching this.